If I found somebody that handsome and looked just like me, would I hook up with them? Um, my doppelganger? I would say I would say I would. I would say I would hook up with my with my doppelganger, the female version. The female version of me. <laughs> if it was me, it's like I'm hooking up with me. No? I feel like my female doppelganger is Jane Lynch. You know Jane Lynch? The act, Google Jane Lynch. This, <laughs> this is me. Yeah, Jane Lynch. This is my doppelganger right here. There. <laughs> Jane Lynch. That's me. Well, that's what somebody somebody commented on that. You see my laugh. They were like, they were like, Vinny, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a preview of your life, girl, or some shit like that. Oh my god! You know what I, mean? I, I know really his socks because my even the socks my dad wears. I wear those high socks like that. He no, kinda, I'm not even worried about the socks. Our bodies don't look that much different. Like you know, he was he must have been if I was my dad. Oh my had god! Me I know. I was looking at your ass earlier this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're just laughing at his ass. <laughs> What's the problem with my no, ass? No, I almost cried. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with my ass? What's wrong with my ass? I'm just imagining how much worse it's going to get. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't like it. That's why I literally, as soon as I go into any of them, Pornhub, whatever, I, the first words I type, the only two words I type in the search engine, senior citizen. <laughs> What'd you say? Get smacked. Get smacked. Senior citizens get smacked. Thank bye. you, bye. <laughs> wow, right on the podcast, we got the okay for the parole officer. Holy shit. What podcast does this? Just look me in the fucking eye right now and tell me, what other podcast is doing that? What other podcast is getting parole officer calls live on the show for, for literal felons that I'm bringing with me to the show that are part of my family? And then I invite the parole officer on the show. Tell your friends about this podcast. Why would you not? I'm calling myself Chrissy Keller. I'm wearing Homeless Pimp's purple sunglasses. I have T.T. Jerry, my wife, Vinny's transgender uncle. Who's, it's her godfather. It's literally Vinny's godfather who has estrogen tits. She has tits, but it's her godfather. And we're going on a boat in Florida for her birthday. And I just, I am now responsible. I'm wearing a shirt that says OnlyFans with ceiling fans on it. I, I invited parole officer Espinosa to the shows too. Yeah, the only one you didn't invite was me, so. <laughs> because we're moving, because we're just Oh, because we're moving. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's why I'm that's why I'm trying to speed up the passport because surprises. Trying to make it up in a big way. Big. Huge. Julia Roberts voice. <laughs> just came into this nice woman's house and we're just screaming <laughs> <the strategies. laughs> and She's like on the phone. I know. She goes, she goes, Who are the guests today? I go, Oh, the Are You Garbage podcast guys. She goes, show me them. I show them I show them to you. She listened in a few minutes. She went, Ugh. <laughs> we're gonna need a bigger couch. <laughs> now we're sitting out here making fun of making fun of millionaires. <laughs> These people look like idiots at the Met Gala. I know she's talking to her mom. She's like, "Yeah, Chris is coming. I was doing a podcast with the garbage kids. <laughs> They're being called." <laughs> and she's like, oh, "Okay, baby, that's okay. That's how we make this money." <laughs> it was a softball game. First of all, I it was in Minnesota. They they go down the line and announce the players to the fans. There was like fifty thousand people there. It was like so or close. Yeah, maybe yeah. that. It's All Star Weekend. Yeah, so it's like people just want to go. So I literally in Minnesota, and he was on the Vikings at the time. Adrian Peterson, the star running back, played the Minnesota Vikings star running back played in the celebrity softball game. So he was a god back then. Adrian Peterson. They're like, all right, next up is Adrian Peterson. They're going down the line, introducing, go crazy. Then I was next. Then uh, the, I swear to God. Then the announcer goes, next up is Chris. De let me try that again, folks. <laughs> Chris Di Stefano, like Chris Stefano, everybody. Yeah, dude, there was my. You only are my dad clapping. <laughs> That's my kid. That's you know, my boy. By the way, they were one time we had a fake plant for about two years. I never told it was fake. She watered it once a week. But it was fake, <laughs> fake since day one. <laughs> yeah, this thing won't grow. Yeah, I don't know so what now, it is. So I can't get the. I can't. I, you can only do that bit once, and now she makes sure every plant is real. Um, <laughs> what What I think is like this cosmic spiritual experience. Shane has like. He has rationale for it because of how the brain works. So, like the blue lady, that's something that a lot of people th see, and I just assume that she's only perceivable to people on drugs, and she's this mad magic mythic person. Mm -hmm. But he's like narrowed it down that the brain has these synapses that like 
basically run on auto when you stimulate them too much and they have this patchwork that kind of completes visions or something like that or have very uniform effects a, a response to to a catalyst and that's why the blue light it's insane <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> Slugging custard. <laughs> Tell him the mysteries of the universe and brain. <laughs> yeah, so that was our Mennonites. The Amish. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> the Mennonites? Mennonites. So, dude, my Are we mom, sure that's not a Pokemon? My mother's, <laughs> my mother's religious yearly vacation was to take me, just me and her, and we go to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, because that's what an eight-year-old yes. wants to do, is, is talk about shoe fly pie on a horse and buggy with their mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that, so that's, so that's what we would do, and I learned the difference between the Amish and the men. And I let me ask you this: Do you ever, do you ever go s- sit down and be like, I want to get a new tattoo, but then think, does Machine Gun Kelly have that tattoo? <laughs> 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 Um. <laughs> <laughs>